Hiya guys, it's Tom and welcome back to Train Sim TV. In today's video we're going to be showing you the Harrogate Loop version 2, which is an upcoming extension to the route. Um, you can currently get version 1 available from our website, which is On Track Simulation, which by the way is our new website, which has just literally gone live about a day ago prior to this video going, although the video coming out is probably about a day or so after the recording. Um, but do have a look, um, our link is in the description. Um, this version will eventually be uh, released onto there as well. Um, so. We streamed this on Saturday night, uh, a couple of runs we did, uh, so anyone that's missed out on that they can obviously now come and catch up and have, have another look on here um, just to have a look through. Um, this route itself has been worked on mainly by Lewis Cox who has done a lot of scenery work um, over the past four to five weeks during uh, his furlough from lockdown. Um, he started off the project before he even approached us, he, he'd been working on it and then he sent me a message uh, about four weeks ago um, just asking if we was interested in adding it onto the original main Harrogate loop. I was like, yeah, definitely. Um, he did obviously, he was working on it as a, as a clone, so it just literally, all the tiles sort of like slotted straight on top and we've just obviously been able to work that way. Um, I've done bits and pieces a lot on along the side with him, like sorting out the speeds and the, the signals, um, other finer little details as well, tracks out which I had noticed as well, so I've added some extra bits to it as well. Um, so overall, it's coming along really nicely. And the scenery, is starting from York, goes down south to Milford Junction. We're at Gaskin Wood Junction here at the minute, so we're not actually down at Milford. Milford is just literally there, which currently still has some of the old existing, like five, six year old scenery. This has been ripped up since the stream and it is now being worked on at the moment. Um, Gaskin Wood will have some basic detail for now um, until we progress that way down with the route. Uh, plans with the route, um, I'll go over them in a moment. We're going to get ourselves into the train, get going. So we're on 2 Romeo 04, Hull to York. Right, DRA off, we need to set our cab up. So the briefing on this one is take control of 2 Romeo 04 from Gaskinwood Junction to York. You have 15205 as your workhorse for this run and you will call that Sherburn and Elmer, Church Fenton and York. It's about 20 minutes to sh sort of on the run side. Um, you get a good 30 minute run if you come out of Milford with a freight as well. So it opens up some freight potential this time. Alright, so 2, Romeo 0, 4, and signal is 695, that's that, let's get some windows open, and we'll get ourselves moving, let's move some lights on, there we go. So yeah, the plans with the route, obviously for version 2 is going to be York down to Milford. Junction, a slight little bit beyond just to, enough scenery just to have a bit of a run into the yard that way as well, uh, from the south. Version 3, um, I think the plan is to possibly do Church Fenton to Leeds via Crossgates and that way around. So we get a full circle then as well, which fills the dream of eventually getting uh, the full run around of the original cir uh, circuit of Scarborough Spar Express before it went off to Scarborough. Uh, Scarborough is not planned to be worked on, though, unfortunately, though, that might, you never know, it might change in the future, but at the minute there's no plans in that one. Um, after doing to leave, the next plan is to do down to Selby, so filling the East Coast Main Line scenery up to Hamilton and then um, Micklefield Junction over to Selby that way. Um, after that, uh, I think the other plan is to do some of the power stations, so you'll have like Drax, Edgborough, Ferry Bridge all in one run because they're all on the same uh, stretch of track, which opens it up massively then, you get a lot of freight potential. Put a lot of detail and stuff into this as well, um, with a lot of help from the latest Don Coffee cab ride as well, which has just come out. Um, that one actually features this section of routes, which has been a massive benefit to us um, in getting everything we need. So you can see like the, that, that line side ditches and stuff like that. We got we got track access as well. There's loads of stuff. All the all the little track side finer details going on, cable trunk and all that sort of stuff. You can be expected. Um, it now uses the, um, on this section, it uses the VP grass and VP trees. The existing original part at the minute has no um, scenery changes, though hopefully down the line in the future, the, the, I have got some aims and plans to hopefully um, do the trackside grass and trees to match this and obviously the, the future of the route. And we've got all sorts of other crossings as well. So all these little details down here, you've got all this little like, ditch that runs all the way around and off down to the back there. Um, I believe we had fun doing this as well, this um, big, 
pond reservoir y sort of thing. We've been so close to the track as well with the, the train and all that. But yeah, you've got everything going on here. A lot of warehousing around this area as well at Sherbin, so a lot of details have been put in here as well, so it's just you get enough like, to give you a feel of an industrial area. Uh, Sherbin and Elmer is literally just beyond this next bridge. You'll, uh, you'll see me like stop off at various places and just get odd screenshots as well, just so potential thumbnail and all that for the video. This is Sherbet and Helmet. and just show you around. Got new station signage on this one as well. This is like reskins of our original ones, but um, we didn't actually have a sign, uh, a sign done for this one, so this has now been done. Um, we've got loads of detail going on with station as well. All the little bits and pieces, like little flower, uh, flower pots, and you got all these little junction boxes and stuff going around. You've got the crossings here as well, which actually are buried off in real life. It's only public foot access now. Must be annoying for people who live around here, but then again, they probably just go over the roundabout and over actually. It's probably just save time. Rather than, oh, now they could have gone across at one point. Not how far is it? Only a couple of minutes over the bridge. You get some nice screenshots off this bridge as well. Uh, like from down here, with trains coming from the uh, the north, coming down uh, down south. Same again um, on this side as well. You get the right sun, the same uh, right line. You can see the power stations in the background as well. The, uh, the station the cooling towers have been put in um, as global assets, so you can actually see them in the, in the skyline um, when they get loaded in. They get loaded in quite a decent length away. So you do get them in the background. Yeah, plenty of stuff. Again, the ditch that comes all the way through, it runs alongside and runs through. It goes into this little culvert here. Let's get back into the train, get ourselves uh, prepared for our departure. Uh, next up will be Church Fenton, which is about a mile or two. So the aim of this video as well, because uh, we did it on the stream, anyone that missed out, they can catch up and see what we're up to and things are, are worked on. Everything again will be housed on our new on track simulation website uh, moving forward. So we have um, our legacy routes on there. Um, we have some new scenarios up there as well at the minute. Um, it, it, early days, it only just has been opened up. We will be moving, um, progressing forward with our new stuff onto there. Um, Leeds Manchester as well from Mark and Callum. That is going to be on there as well. And there will be live updates going onto that website about the route as well. So the, the route has actually just started up, being worked on again. After the uh, the common library for the route has just been switched over to the new on track simulation name. So a lot of work has been put in to move everything out, all the assets for that. Do keep up as well on other videos on our YouTube channel um, to do with that route. Mark will end up doing more uh, dev diaries as it and when he moves on with that. Uh, on track simulation as well it is a collaboration between uh, myself, Tom, Mark, and Callum Green, uh, with also occasional help and input from Willstead. So Will's done a lot of the gra all the graphic work for the um, website, all the logos and stuff for us. Um, he does do occasional assets for us, so we'll see bits of his work as well pop up from time to time. As this one is, uh, we are associated with Lewis Cox of the Midland Railway route. Um, his name is Midland Modeler, so you might have seen him on stream as well. He was on the stream um, Saturday night as well. So he's doing uh, he's doing a lot of uh, work on this. What you see today. Hello. We're just powering towards Church Venter now. We'll be powering, uh, taking off the power in the moment. Sort of this crossing in real life and taking some uh, photos from 56 once on there. I think it was a scrap train. Rather fresh. There's a lot of potential over this route. You get um, you can do the East Coast diversions and all sorts with this. Lots of freight. Loads of different services um, into moving around each other and stuff like that. And the uh, joining up at Church Phantom. A 
uh, Blackpool service there, Blackpool York. Also 155 on another uh, service down to Hull from York. service as well, Tons Pennine. A little around it. This edition I had some senior on there um, probably about six or seven years ago with this route as well, so it's amazing how long it's, it's taken to get to this stage and like, the complete finish uh, state. Um, Lee's direct line is that way. There's a bit of scenery, um, and the new scenery sort of ends here. There is actually a, a run of scenery all the way down to Micklefield Junction, which I did many, many years ago. Uh, though this will be revamped in some way. I don't know if it'll be all ripped up or not. It's, that'll be up to Lewis, um, where he adapts some of the existing scenery and maybe just revamps some of the um, the, like the, the fields and stuff like that, maybe some terrain paint. Um, but yeah, some of the stuff has already been done, so it runs down to the junction just up beyond the curve up there. But there's a good start at least, you can get some services in um, on this section, so you've got the, the bridge here as well, um, just before the curve into the station. Streets and stuff like that, there's plenty of detail going on. I'm, I'm, I'm just astounded at how, how quick he's done all this. I'm looking forward to you guys obviously getting all of it when it's out and to have a play with it. Currently working on the third scenario for the route as well at the minute, which is a uh, test train working. Two are already made, which we featured last night, which one what the one was um Classic 6 on the bin line of the train, which was 6M16 to Nosley going south. I love this bit as well because you, uh, you can have races with other trains as well. You get stuff flying past you as well, we're not expecting it. We've got no chance of catching him up though. Uh, we're not stopping now until we get to York as well. Go straight through here. There's only a couple of services um, that stop at Ulskill. I think it's about two or three. Hull trains that stop there, and then um, the mainly it's I think it's the Sheffield service that stops there. There's a lot of farmland around here, a lot of uh, rolling countryside, which is also been very beneficial to us and the rate he's managed to get the work done. It's got adaptations of like existing bits as well because I, I remember putting the uh, the river in many years ago and putting the culvert in on some bits. I think some bits might have been chopped and changed, but I remember doing the existing base stuff for this years ago. It's nice to see it finally um, like all come together and finished off, um, which is good. This is all Skelf Station. I'm going to give it a pause for a minute just so you guys can have a look. So the station model itself is a DP Simulations one um, off his, is it RLS North 
East England or East Coast Main Line. He had an East Coast Main Line route that was still available somewhere, um, which went down to, I think it was Micklefield it ended up at. Never ended up actually getting to Leeds, unfortunately. Um, obviously, Darren now works on his uh, North East England um, newer route, uh, version of the route, which goes to like Durham and that way. Starts at York, but don't come this, uh, this way down. But yeah, the, the, the model... Um, has been allowed to be bundled with the route as well. It's already actually in the, um, the Harrogate Loop install because this station was put in years ago, um, was without the scenery, it was just the basics were put in ready. So uh, again, massive thanks to DP Simulation for allowing us to uh, bundle it with the, the uh, actual download. It's a massive help, uh, massive help. It's obviously saved us time in obviously trying to source um, and get another model made. I'll just utilize that. Max speed for the 150, of course, is 75 mile an hour. We'll just cut over the wharf as well on uh, this bridge here. We're currently heading towards Bolton Percy. Going through bottom person now, we're going to be heading towards Colton Junction, which is a favourite spot of mine in real life and in TS. Just nice to watch the trains roll by it, you obviously go by uh, the two bridges at either side of the little uh, parking spaces there. So it's, uh, it's definitely one of the favourite spots on the network, I, I would say on the East Coast Main Line for um, spotters, enthusiasts. Got a couple of new ILS signals here as well, which I uh, didn't realise we've done. Uh, these have been placed here in real life, so they're now in. So we're just going up to Colton Junction now. Make sure there's no AWS there. I can't remember if it was an AWS or not. It goes off. HST coming down as well. Which is what I like with this. You can just catch stuff going each way. Yeah, there was an AWS there. I thought there was. I'm just going to give it a quick pause so I can see there's another power station up in the distance there as well. I can't remember which one it is, but there is one there. Uh, the scenery for the East Coast Main Line sort of just ends beyond the bridges there um, at the minute. It'll eventually uh, be filled in uh, when the Selby um, se section comes into the game. Track is all there, by the way. Obviously, it's the, the track map itself has not changed at all at the minute, but it will change eventually when we get the extra power station. So they'll come off this section here down uh, south of Milford. Um, what you get on the actual section is this section, so you get York, and the new scenery takes you south down here, uh, up to the junctions here, and it, it'll end somewhere on this sort of curve here, just in the scene so you can see it all, and then eventually this will come into play uh, eventually, so you get the line to Normanton and then Nottingley as well. I say the next part after the version 2 will be from Church Fenton down to Leeds this way, so it'll, you'll get a full circle of route in one uh, run uh, in that way. Selby's here. Uh, Selby's got a little bit of minor basic old scenery in there as well. That'll end up getting ripped up and redone. 
um, in the future. There's a lot of potential um, to be had. I'm going to go back to the camp. So we're heading towards Copland Fort now. I've also got me a little artistic license into here as well. Got me graffiti. <laughs> Go have a bit of graffiti, in, aren't you? That makes its way into any other routes I have ever worked on over time. <laughs> oh, Copper Fork is just a little bit further up. Uh, it's on the curve. It's a crossing there, which is quite a known crossing for photos and stuff. It will spot us. crossing for a little flyby. There's all sorts of little water treatment places and stuff like that as well. Um, access lanes and stuff like that, even like little ruined buildings there as well. We've got an electrical cabinet in it. Quite cool. So loads of housing estates as well. All fences and stuff like that as well. So you've got all those garden details as well. Like garden clutters in, in there as well. Cars on the streets and stuff that can be expected to be seen. This is the crossing at Cotman Foot. These Ada restaurants need sorting out by the way, just ignore them, there's, there's probably a few more than what there should be yeah, in the boardings. Should be taken out. The TP service there has been held up by the right up ahead. The freight shifts over the way at Colton Junction onto the slow lines uh, towards Milford. So it's all these, I put an extra amounts of these and they get removed. Um, obviously by the time we start streaming this again. Just heading to uh, the south of York in a moment, got Ascombe Bar, which is just back here as well. We've just gone past, so I'll show you that as well. Um, so, this is where the, um, got the shopping area here. Like, I think it's a supermarket, I'm sure it's a big Tesco or something here now. Um, this here is the original alignment of where the East Coast Main Line sort of went off. So, it sort of went off in that, I think it went off in that direction. I'm not sure if it went straight on or sort of curved around a bit more to be honest, it's, it's in this sort of alignment, it, it went off here and turned off that way and went towards Selby. I plan to do some extra bits with the OHLE as well, um, adding the, the hangers and stuff like that, extra tensioners and stuff, um, and all that, and the overlapping bits. Fingers crossed if I have the time. Hopefully that'll be done. Uh, my little artistic detail here is um, the miniature railway um, place at South of York. Um, 
spent uh, last about a week ago spent the afternoon on Sunday doing this mainly just getting obviously the, the raised track and all the uh, the concrete bits underneath it but I'm quite pleased how it turned out you'd be able to actually use the top part can't use the uh, bottom bit sadly because when we tried rendering the points it turned it into standard gauge track annoyingly uh, so unfortunately this um, the bottom bit is unusable but you can actually run trains around the top bit if you wish to it's, out, it's not the right gauge but it's um, just a, a fair representation of what is here rather than just being a load of trees um, which originally were here on the, the version 1 of the route because obviously the scenery so didn't really focus down here fully um, so yeah we've got that in there so you can do a little bit of playing about if you have any uh, smaller narrow gauge trains um, plonk them in there as they are it's a bit, a bit of fun really So we have um, a red signal coming up in a moment. We're just entering into York as well, so you'll see a little bit of, um, of a notable frame drop whilst it's loading in York. In, uh, it's just it's a very very busy tile. Um, no plans are um, to have a look at the tile and try and reduce some of the uh, asset count on there. Uh, hopefully for in time of this release. Um, a few bits have been done already at York, changing some of the skyline when you're coming from the north. So when you're coming around the curve into the station, you see extra buildings that weren't there originally. Um, and all that. But yeah, we do hope to try and remove some unneeded assets uh, in this area. It, it is a bit extensive, so we can probably remove a lot of them at the distant and put some asset block, like housing blocks in there from DTG. Uh, rather than having loads of single place ones where we don't really see them. The line size stuff will stay um, as it is. Uh, in terms of the lines and houses of the single places, get a bit more um, of an artistic touch to it that way. And do extra garden details and stuff. Got Holgate sidings as well to the left. These usually have just loads of wagons stored there these days. Um, mainly, you usually do see these ones in there. Another thumbnail potentially. Might be doing a, a cheeky pause. We're just waiting for the road um, on this one. I think the signal's just a little bit iffy here at the minute. I think there's a freight that comes in that holds, uh, waits for us. I think it sort of like decides to stop, then change the signal. Um, it'll be something that'll get looked at, but it might just be down to the way the freight's working. It's not there just yet. It'll be coming around the station. It's there, look. Celebrity shed as well. We do get road. Yeah, it's, it's giving us now. It's not even in actually, so God knows. It'll be it'll be uh, looked at in time for release anyway. Things may change well, so don't expect this to be obviously the final version. Um, anything can be subject to change. More detail could be added. Um, things can be changed and stuff before we do release. So please treat this as work in progress, as as it is. Um, even though that it was a full run of scenery. Blackpool service there, just leaving. We're using also the new uh, speed sign pack from Sinks' workshop, uh, which is a pack collaborated between Sinks and Benedict Cooper. 
Um, very nice pack, loads of different variants. I do urge you to have a look at them. Um, if you're a root builder, definitely. There's loads of variants. Some really nice uh, features and some nice detail going on with as well. The Port Clarence working that as well. Port Clarence Doncaster, I think. It's seven seven nine as well. Celebrity Shed, Evening Star. We do hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, we will be obviously featuring this more and more as the uh, project uh, progresses. Don't forget, uh, you can get version 1 of Harrogate Loop available now at On Track Simulation. Links are below for the uh, current version. Uh, we've got some more exciting stuff coming very soon with On Track Simulation, as well as another route release coming up quite shortly, which will be Northern Lines um, Original, which is the extension to Bernays. Uh, do keep a lookout for that one. We will be doing a stream. Um, for that as well. We're just waiting for one custom asset on it, so it's very close. Um, keep an eye out on our Facebook page as well, which um, we have an on-track simulation page for that for our updates and our releases. Um, don't forget also, you can like, share, subscribe, any feedback you have maybe, uh, do pass that over to us. We can um, look into that and see if we can if anything can be changed or added upon, anything that may need improving. Um, you can pass that on to Lewis as well. Um, again, huge thanks to Lewis for the uh, work he's put into this so far. He's done a fantastic um, job on that. I hope you do agree as well, and hope you've enjoyed this run. Um, so, yeah, don't forget you can catch us on Twitch at twitch.tv for slash trainsimtv underscore Tom or trainsimtv underscore Mark. Uh, my channel is the one that's on uh, Tuesday and Saturdays from 8 pm onwards. Massive thanks to everyone that's joined us on this video. Hope you've enjoyed. I've been Tom, it's TV. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next video.